Hey everyone, welcome to Tisha Creations. Today I'm going to take you to a tiger painting. When I asked my older daughter, well, what would you like for your room so many years back, she said she needed a leopard painting, so I did do that for her. But my younger daughter, it took this long for me to do a tiger painting that she likes. Um, I asked her, which one do you want for your room? She said she needed a tiger. So my older one is a leopard fan and my younger one is a tiger fan. So I had already created this canvas. I'm going to do this time oil painting. So I had done the background, uh, dark color on the sides. And this is where the tiger face is going to be. The dark color is um, black combined with green, sap green. And this is a lighter green. And the face is going to be yellow ochre, white, and uh, eyes are going to be blue. And some black stripes on the tiger. Okay, let's go and start. Right now, I'm doing some outlines. So, I will know where exactly I'm going to put the colors. So, I did some shading like black color just to give the outline. Okay, just like you do the pencil outline. Um, only for portraits, I usually do the outline with the pencil. If it is like a, an animal or landscape, I usually go ahead and use my brush and the paint to give the outline. So I will know exactly where the eyes and the nose and all is going to come. And um, I am planning to do, just like I said before, some water there and um, some leaves. So only half of the... Um, almost 75% or maybe 50% of the face is going to be shown. This is exactly what my daughter had asked me to do. <laughs> so it's not for myself. If it is for myself, I could have added a 3D effect or something else. But she said this is how she wanted. She didn't tell about the water. I thought I'll just add it. But the whole, the rest of the things, this is what she wanted. And there's a lot of stuff I can do uh with it but right now i'm just gonna have what she wanted to do <laughs> now i have to do the blue eyes and some black over it I mix the blue with a little bit of white and some black shade over there and this is going to be black. The rest of the things in this tiger is going to be very 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 detailed. It's a little tough to do the oil paint when you do the details because the underlined um, color has to be dried completely otherwise you will not get that right effect for example like if I'm doing this blue with white if I have to add more I really have to add more uh, white and blue in between to get the right uh, eye texture uh, but I cannot do it immediately then you keep adding and adding and adding uh, so you have to wait till this dries to add the next layer okay so we'll move to some other place like nose and stuff before you go back maybe it, it really takes actually um for 12 hours to dry completely so i will go ahead and do the nose or something after that now we'll go ahead and add some kind of pink 
it's red and white together a little bit of white okay this is that part of the nose that's the shape and some black color runs through that It's smooth in it. Now we'll add some black. Okay, the black is going to be going through the middle of this. See the um, inside layer is not dried yet. This is where the inside part and that part goes like that. I very rarely draw animals. Only when my daughters say they want an animal. Next will be they have so many cats. So I will be painting their cats even, even though I really don't have any like any pets inside my house. I like to enjoy them for, from far away. <laughs> I love them, but I'm allergic to pets. I'm allergic to a lot of stuff. Trees, everything. So that is just an outline for what I'm going to do. And then uh, some of the black color goes like this. Some goes like that. And it goes this way, that way, that way. So this part is going to be mostly hiding under the leaves. Um, these all has to be really thick black since it's not going well because the underneath layer is not dried yet. If I did the um, acrylic painting, you can finish it in a day. But oil painting, you cannot. You have to wait. It's because my daughter wanted an oil. And I love to do an oil too. I like the glare. Now I started painting the whiskers at the white color on his face. See, I'm using the fan brush. Took the white paint and then just to give the four And every time you take the white paint, don't forget to clean the brush before you take the next paint. That means after you do this. And I'm going to clean. You can always use a towel instead of always keep cleaning in the kerosene. You know, oil paint you clean in the kerosene, not the water. You know that, right? 
So now I have to complete all the places that you have white color. Let me take a little more white. This is the fan brush, okay? Fan brush does a very good job on the four. And it's going to be Remember I said, only if it dries well, it gives the nice fur effect. I'm just giving the underline coat. Later when it dries, I'm going to add, very carefully add the whiskers, very carefully. <laughs> So you can really see the whiskers. This is just the underlying coat. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do some. I already did. I'm just showing you. Okay. I can show only part by part. Because most of the time when I paint, I'm in my own world and I sometimes I forget to turn on the video. I thought I did turn on the video, but sorry, it was not on. So what I did was I took some yellow ochre and white and little green on the other side of the brush. It's like one side yellow ochre and white and the other side green. And I just went from here. And I did this, but later I have to come back and correct it. Started from there and I turned my brush and did this. Okay, but later I will be coming back and uh, maybe <laughs> uh, if I get time, I will be giving some perfection to the leaves. And uh, last time I was showing how to do the white. And I have to go back and add some blacks here and there and some blue uh, for the eyes and some black around the eyes and the fur, the whiskers. All those things I can do only after all these are dried, okay? And like I said, I decided to keep that water. Uh, what I was doing is just took some white and did like this. And the line automatically came. Remember, I didn't actually paint the water. That color was already there. I painted the background, the green and the yellow in the middle for the tiger. So that color was already there. All I had to do is... Just do like this with the fan brush, okay? So it um, already has the effect of the water. We're adding some highlights. On the leaf. Smudge it. Just at the edges, okay? Yellow ochre and some white. Let 
doesn't have to be yellow ochre and white you can use some um, bright yellow for that also I just wanted to use this Got some shade over here and some here just here and there this is what I was being sorry I was not holding the just where all the lights are falling and some highlight here where all the the leaves coming on his face You know the medium for this it's linseed oil I got some linseed this is linseed oil I will show all those things at the end of the video okay while I'm painting see that gives it makes the paint thin because it's oil paint you cannot use water to thin the paint and then I will add some light texture very lightly you never have the colors stopping abruptly it has to be smudged like this okay making the waves kind of like waves in the water that's what it is Here we're gonna do some white and since I'm holding the phone in my hand I cannot hold the palette in my hand I usually paint with my palette and my hand but right now for you guys special so that blue here it is darker blue and at the bottom it's lighter blue these are the details you do at the end after everything is dried okay and the lighter blue it's still there maybe we can go ahead and add that also a little more you add white to it make sure you roll the brush and you're gonna add You see the white lines here, so you're gonna add between, which is following that darker, following the draw darker blue. Don't lose the white color in between. Okay, then take more blue and paint the next one.
you're just painting the bottom line of that dark blue okay so that is painted that is done now we'll do some whiskers with a thinner brush So for that, we're going to take the white. The brush has to be very clean and it has to be pointed. Actually, the brush I'm using is not that flexible to use thin lines. I'm just adjusting with that. If you have better, longer brush, it will be better. kind of okay it just goes starts from here some starts from this line just like that there and then okay everyone I guess I'm finishing it off um right now uh the last touch up i did was a little bit of brown which is black and red mixed together to get that um uh, reddish brown i added some on the leaves uh just to make sure that everything is not just um uh, green and yellow because some leaves can be dried so that's why i was doing that okay so i did some brown here and there and i added some brown which is red and black mix on the water also just to show it's the colors are reflecting on the water okay everyone i guess i finished uh painting uh for now i can go back and do some a lot of um details to it later but for the video i'm done and my daughter thinks i send this picture to her and she thinks it's excellent so she said it's more than what she wanted so that's why um i thought okay let me finish it right now uh, in in case if i have to add something i can go back and uh, do the details when everything is dry use this is the palette i've been using for uh almost 30 years uh so that's my one of my best friends <laughs> and the brushes that I use this is the brush this is the big brush I have to wash all this but you I use for the background color when I was doing like this and even the water this brush does a fast job okay never use a small brush for the big canvas to do this and then this is the brush that I use for the leaves if you have two colors you just go like this it gets the two colors but I had to go back and add the shade again because this brush is kind of rounded so it doesn't give um, get into two colors that much and then I use the fan brush fan brushes for the water and then I use this small brush to do the details of the eyes and the inside the eyes and I use this for the white and the black and I use this for this also all this little little stuff I use this brush and then I use the fan brush first for the whisk um, the uh, thing behind what is that sorry the whiskers <laughs> the whiskers under this long long ones okay and then I used the small brush for the big whiskers and then some highlights here and there for the eyes and the nose and all those stuff and for these ones this uh, texture I press my finger and I could do that texture when I did this uh, the finger was doing better for that texture okay those are all the brushes that i use and the paints these are the only paints that i used for this painting and a little blue 
uh, Prussian blue mixed with a little white uh, over here and then again more white to the Prussian blue uh, over here okay that's the blue then I use this um, green for the entire green color some places I used a little white to get that uh, shade and then yellow ochre for the face of the tiger and then white and black that is very important okay these are the basic colors you buy um, for any kind of painting white black blue green yellow and uh, yeah basically that's it you can mix all the other colors and get the rest of the colors okay and uh, this is a, like I said it's an oil paint so you basically mix with kerosene to uh, thin the paint and I use uh, linseed oil that is a paint thinner that's the one that's the one I just use it linseed oil you just have a little dip a brush little tiny dip for lot of paint do not mix so much linseed oil the paint will um, flow okay uh, then that is this medium linseed oil and this is okay that's the linseed oil and this is the kerosene uh, that you wash your brushes with that and um, you can thin the paint a little bit do not use a lot of kerosene because after so many years your painting is gonna crack if you use a lot of kerosene that's all it is and you saw blue white black green and yellow ochre. that's all the colors that are used for this painting okay and uh, I always have a soap that's how you um, put water and uh, scrub the brush in that soap with the water that's how you wash your brushes okay that's all it is so hope you like my painting there is Thank you so much everyone for watching my video. Hope you all liked it. And if you really liked it, please like, share and please subscribe, okay? Uh, thank you so much for uh, being so patient with my painting. Um, uh, please come back and watch all my videos, okay? And please try to watch the rest of the videos also and uh, please support me for that okay and thank you so much for all the um subscribers that already subscribed to my channel and please 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 to share okay and uh, thanks again and at this covid time hope everybody is being very safe when you go out wearing mask and the gloves and all those stuff and be very, very safe, okay? Until I see you again. Thank you so much. Take care. See you. God bless. Bye-bye.